What is up, guys? Marky Park Hall here, Hall Games, and we're back with a another video. I know it's been about six days or so because I was kind of on the fence about this video. I didn't know if I wanted to post a full leg day routine video just yet, uh, mainly because. It would be a lot longer of a video, and I kind of shortened this. I didn't really shorten it, but I sped up the most of the uh, clips that I took uh, uh, that I took in this video, uh, just for the simple fact of it not being extremely long. Because originally it was about <laughs> 20 to 30 minutes, and I don't even know what I would have had talked about what I wanted to do with this video uh, but uh, I have a lot of video ideas coming very soon and uh, I spent most of uh, my days for my new job that's uh, I'm going through orientation mainly just thinking of video ideas <laughs> for YouTube which kind of helped because I wrote down a ton of them but anyways uh, so for I'm doing leg extension as you can tell here. For each set, I did 12 reps. I did about six sets. The uh, first two sets, I think, were just kind of warm up sets. I can't remember. I think I don't know if it was one warm up set or two. But then, <coughs> excuse me. At the at, towards the end, I did a drop set, which drop sets are phenomenal for your legs and. I just literally love uh, destroying my legs, and I don't know why. When you're watching this, but you're just probably like, "Why is he keep taking his legs out from behind the freaking pad?" I have no idea. I was thinking of the whole the time myself. I was like, "Why do I keep pulling my legs out?" And it's not like that because of the pain or anything like that. I'm really pretty good with pushing my legs to the extreme. But, uh, yeah, definitely do your drop sets when it comes to leg extension. And I promise you will see a lot of gains in your legs. And, uh, definitely what I like to do when I do drop sets is I move my legs either in the middle or outward, which helps a lot too. And, uh, definitely focuses on different, like the outsides of your legs and then the top. Uh, the teardrop in the middle of the inside of your legs so yeah then we're here with uh, basically like an assisted incline type of squat I would say I'm not sure the name of this machine you have to forgive me I'm, I just do it because I'm trying to shorten the legs and uh, grow some nice trunks you know. um, but this I usually start with 25s on each side and do about 12 reps and as you can see I keep my feet up sort of high they're almost like at uh, almost at like the mirror on the wall but that's because I would like I want to target it more on the top upper quad and my hammies so I literally put all of the weight on the uh, freaking uh, heel on my foot and push through there. If you're pushing through the middle of your feet or on your toes, you're going to hurt your knees, I guarantee you. And that's also why I move my feet up higher so it doesn't irritate my knees. I literally feel all of this just in the top of my quad and panties. And I have noticed. A large amount of growth there as well and it's made my uh, my squat a lot stronger when I'm able to squat heavy but that day um, or this day I'm gonna say um, I went from leg extension to this usually I go leg extension uh, do a little bit of hammies <clears throat> and then I go into squatting so usually I can kind of go a little bit longer 
when it comes to swats, but I did, I ended up just doing this, which I love this machine, so I had no problem with it, but it's just there were so many people doing legs this day, and you'll notice that I did get to do, uh, leg press, like my buddy Jordan in the background killing it, um, I wasn't able to do that because right after he got off it, another guy got on it, and then someone else got on it, so I wasn't able to do leg press at all, which I was pretty upset about, and uh, it was just kind of a little bit of a crazy day. I was surprised they even got to squat, but yeah, I really was destroying my legs on my machine. My legs were shaking uh, right at the end there, and then... I was, yeah, I was surprised they got to squat, honestly, because the squat racks were taken right when I got there, so I was looking, and I was like, I was like, am I really not going to be able to squat right now, and then I got one, and guys, I'm not touching the bar down below, I'm just squatting as low as possible to really target on my legs, and, uh, I, I love squatting, I, I love it, and, uh, it's definitely one of my favorite things, and especially because I used to do the uh, Smith Machine squatting back when I used to work out in Planet Fitness. Yeah, worked out there before. And oh my god, compared to using an actual squat rack, nothing can compare. At first, I'm telling you, you're going to be a little bit wobbly because your balance is going to be really off when you do it the first couple times, but you'll get into it, and I literally started from the bottom. I was literally only able to start with 35s on each side to get my balance back for doing this, uh, doing squats in the squat rack. So, don't be afraid to start low with weight. It doesn't matter. You're still squatting. Take your time. Do not go and destroy yourself because you could hurt your back. You could hurt your knees, legs, and all that. When you squat, you should always, when you go down, you should basically kind of scoop your butt outward as you squat. So it keeps that semi-arch in your back. So you don't hurt your lower back. And uh, I only got up to 245, I think, for squats that day. And I didn't do it a lot. I think I did like three with that maybe four and I wanted to go heavier but my legs were just literally destroyed that I, I couldn't even push like at all <laughs> so I didn't want to risk trapping myself <laughs> underneath like a 315 or something crazy so then I went over to I did end up I ended up doing hammies basically towards the end of my workout <clears throat> which was fine because most of the stuff that I did was targeting hammies as well. So I've noticed that my hamstrings have gotten a lot thicker and a lot stronger. So in this this machine right here is great for your hammies, especially if uh, I move like I sit a little bit forward on the seat and I put my hands and I hold the front of it and as I bring my legs back it helps me bring them back further one and I kind of stop for a second and hold and slowly release upward and don't let your legs go all the way up try to keep them at just don't let them go all the way up <laughs> like as you can see easily from the video I don't let them go all the way up I just bring them to a point and I bring them straight down I bring them to that same point every time it's basically not about letting the weight hit the other weights just always don't do that. Even if you're doing uh, supersets or drop sets, try not to let the weight hit the other weights below it. <clears throat> so you can keep that basically uh, focus on the muscle. And I know some of you are like, oh my god, he's doing some good girl bad girls. But I promise, do these and your hips will feel fantastic, especially... If you have any hip issues while you're squatting, it really strengthens your hips and your glutes. Obviously, your glutes, because you see all the females usually doing these. But one day, I just gave it a try, and I was like, it was a wrap. One, 
It destroyed my legs. And don't make, I guarantee you, when you do these, you're going to get off it. And the next morning, you're like, you're, you just feel it everywhere. You do, your glutes, your freaking middle of your legs. I was honestly surprised. Now I understand why the females do it, but it really does help. Especially if you have uh, issue hip issues. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have hip issues, it definitely helps a lot. It strengthens them, and it'll definitely help you in your squatting or leg press or whatever your hips hurt hurt you with. But don't go extremely heavy. Try to just keep it light, keep it focused. Like hold it at a point when you come come outward. Just hold it and tighten it for like a second or two. And then slowly let go. And uh, yeah, like <laughs> does work. So and like I said, I was able to do leg press. So there's no leg press for the man. I wasn't able to do calves at the end of this workout because we we're in a rush because we had a busy day ahead of us. But uh, yeah, this uh, I'm just gonna let it go for this last clip, and it's been your boy, Lucky Mark Hall of Gains. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Throw that in the comment section. I'm thinking about showing you guys a little transformation and a few other video ideas that I have. But other than that, it's been your boy. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.